Hello, welcome back again to Engineering Semester Channel. Today let's start the another interesting topics of the WebRTC tutorial series. If you are new to this channel or new to this WebRTC series, please go and watch our introduction part first. Today let us see what is Trickle ICE in WebRTC and how it will be used in WebRTC peer-to-peer -peer connection. Let us get started. In the last video we have discussed the ICE protocol. Now you understood that ICE negotiation is required in RTC peer connection object. The built-in ICE framework manages candidate discovery, connectivity checks, connection keep alive in peer connection. The ICE process is completely transparent to the front-end application. Here important thing is, stun and turn servers configuration is required. During the initialization the RTC peer connection object. In ICE process, retrieving local IP addresses is always fast. But querying the stun server requires a round trip to the external server. And another round trip of stun connectivity checks between the individual peers is also required. So there will be a delay happen in the connection. In WebRTC, Trickle ICE is an extension to the ICE protocol. Trickle ICE allows incremental gathering and connectivity checks between the peers. Now let us see how it helped to fast the communication. In peer-to-peer -peer communication. Without waiting ICE gathering process to complete. We rely on the signaling channel to deliver incremental updates to the other peer. So other peer doesn't face any delay in the connection. You know that signaling server can communicate with the peer because each peer has been connected to signaling server. Now both peers exchange SDP offers without ICE candidates. Then ICE candidates are sent via the signaling channel as soon as they are discovered. ICE connectivity checks are run as soon as the new candidate description is available. In another term we can say, WebRTC send SDP offer without ICE candidates. It send individual ICE candidate as it is discovered by local ICE agent. It register remote ICE candidate and begin connectivity checks. So these checks will happen in the background process of WebRTC connection. One important point you can see here. Trickle ICE generates more traffic over the signaling channel. But it helps significant improvement in the time required to initiate the peer-to-peer -peer connection. Now we understood that WebRTC will send offer first and ICE trickle process will happen in parallel. From the previous videos we have explained all the technical process inside the WebRTC. Now you think. How efficient is WebRTC communication? A WebRTC session may require multiple streams for delivering audio, video, and application data. Also, we don't have guarantee that once the connection is established, that it will stay that way. The connection may periodically flip between connected. But ICE agent will attempt to find the best possible path to re-establish connectivity. That's it for now. I hope you got a better idea about WebRTC trickle ICE process and how it is important. Let us see more in the upcoming videos. If you are thinking this is informative, then like and share subscribe. Also support us. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.